This is just a short little demonstration on setting up a Raspberry Pi as an independent Wi-Fi receiver of Morse code MIDI data to a Kia Code Practice Oscillator just with its own native sound card and not even using any other uh, USB sound cards. It receives its CW instructions over Wi-Fi through MIDI packets. And as you see in the chart before you with MIDI Snoop, those are MIDI packets being generated by some software, which I'll show you in just a second. But it has a note on and a note off and what note to play. And on the other side, this is traveling over Wi-Fi and going to the Pi that's on the right through VNC. You're able to see it here. So what we have is this net client, ASE QNet, and it's going to that app MIDI CW that we've gone over before. That's all that's on here. So Jack is just set up with its own sound card, nothing else. With these settings here, just in playback mode. And there's enough power in the sound card itself to drive a, spe a speaker. And I'll put the microphone over the speaker here. I can reach across it, and uh, hopefully you'll be able to hear it. So let me send some CW. You can listen to the speaker. Okay, I hope that turned out okay. And as you look over here, this is sending MIDI data. The MIDI data is traveling over the network through wireless. It's going through the router into the uh, router's wireless. The Pi is only on wireless right now, and it's still able to receive those packets in super low latency. So uh, even if it was in the other room, I could still key it properly. So there's hardly, there's no noticeable delay. Now, depending on the quality and density of your network, if you get a drop packet, you're going to get like an audio pop or something. But for the most part, I would say over 90% of the time using Wi-Fi. On, now I have a fairly poor network here as far as Wi-Fi goes. Uh, it's doing really good. And let me show you how to generate the MIDI data from a remote computer. So on the left, we have a microphone jack on this computer. And I've gone over this once before. And it's sending uh, data through a regate. Regate's the one that sends the MIDI note. And this threshold here, this slider, is what sets the MIDI data. Uh, as far as when, it, when this triggers, it triggers a note on, and when this audio volume goes below, it triggers a note off. And it does note 60, because that's the one that MIDI CW listens to. Many CW here. So let me demonstrate that quick. So as uh, it goes over the threshold, as soon as it, you know, as soon as you let off, the note off message goes on, just like you saw on MIDI Snoop there. So let's uh, let's clear this out and let you see it. So here's the note on. As soon as I take it off, it sent a note off message. Now, MIDI data is super tiny compared to trying to send audio over a network. So this works really, really well for Morse code. You could set up a classroom code practice oscillator, and you wouldn't have to worry about Ethernet connections. You could use Wi-Fi. So just a slight demonstration, and thank you for watching.